life is all about the messages we give to ourselves on a regular basis. And we as humans are only the outcome of what messages we give to ourselves, again, on a regular basis. Yes, that is life. We have all seen how life has been during the pandemic, and we have been victorious. We have survived it. So let's have the choice of looking at the brighter side of things. Life is a journey. It has its struggles. It has its pains. It has its happy moments as well. So where we focus on is what life makes us. And when we live with this hope of a better tomorrow, we make life better. That is exactly what I choose. And when I was able to understand this aspect, that there is life, and the only fuel which can help us push through life is the beliefs we hold, the choices we make, the thoughts we harbor, and the ability to contribute. A human being who's able to contribute makes not just their life better, but makes the lives of the environment better as well. And yes, that was the thought which makes me what I am today. When I was looking at life, 1997, the report came in which showed that one of the family members had AML and had not much time to live. My first encounter with pain. And that made me understand that life also has so many pains. We all take pain and we try to contradict, fight that pain. And that is where sufferings lie. Pain by itself is not a suffering. It's a lesson-giving moment for us, lesson-giving episode for us. But we try to contradict that. We use up our energies in such fashion that we drain out our energy, the potentialities, the human capacity, the richness we hold, and we try to linger on to that. I did linger on to it, and the past person passed on. Again, a loss. But that awakened something within me. What was that? The questions, why do humans suffer? Is the human life meant to be suffering, or is it something to create out of that suffering. And that was the step which came up to my understanding that life is all about giving. Pain of one person did not become a pain lingering on for people beyond me as well. There has to be a stand, there has to be a moment, there has to be an action, and that is the action I took. From being an educationist, in this institute, I was the economics teacher, and I understood that there is something beyond which I could understand. So this was the place which made me understanding the joy of giving. You share knowledge, it's a joy of giving. You help somebody, it's a joy of giving. Me being whatever profession you are in. But yes, the joy of giving is the number one aspect which makes us become the person we want to be in life. And that's exactly what I chose. What I'm speaking today is entirely my story, my journey which made me what I am, from becoming a person who, was, who had a choice either to dwell in the pain or to move ahead and figure out what is possible so that there is no such pain. I would not say no more pain, but no such pain in the future. And that's exactly what I did. I moved on to do my research in sound and music, how music can help heal a person, especially in the departments of oncology. And that's where my journey began with music, sound, and using it as medicine. I got my doctorate in that, moved ahead to get five more doctorates because I chose to give. It was not about me, what I can do. The certificate may have my name, but it is the contribution which needs to be lived on beyond me. Writing books, yes? That also came as a contributory factor in me. What can I leave behind me? We are not human beings who are going to live till eternity. We have come with limited time. But in that limited time, how much do we live? Live every moment as it is the last moment of your life. Living in that presence is what taught me in 1997. And today, after so many years, I understand that if we are humans who have choices, we have this beautiful tool called choices with us. And based on our choice, we become what we become. So why not pause and ask ourselves, what are the choices I have made in the past repeatedly? 
which has made me what I am today? And what are the ones which I need to continue with? And what are the ones I need to leave behind? Letting go, a very, very important aspect of life, being with the flow, another important aspect of life, understanding the six important questions of life, which changed my life. In fact, I would say these were the questions which came in my head. And when I understood the answers, I was able to take the path to lead where I wanted to in my life. Hope is the first important thing. And you as the youth are the hope, the powerhouse. And when the youth, having this power, moves ahead, they create a beautiful world, not just for themselves, but the world for all beings living on Earth. It could be through your social entrepreneurship. It could be through your various creative ideas which you share. And yes, it lives behind a mark, not just for yourself, for your community, for your nation, but globally which lives beyond you. Now, the six vital questions which I was talking about, which changed my life, which awakened me to understanding what is the true beingness within me, which was to be happy. We all are here to experience happiness. We are all here to create those moments of ecstasy, which lives with us, and we carry it beyond us. The first question is, does life happen to you? That is, why me, poor me, victim me, sad me, the day passes, time passes, you become old and in your rocking chair you still say, why me, poor me. This is the saddest story of human life. We need to wake up and if you have a dream, if you strongly, genuinely believe in what you are passionate about, and what could create a beautiful world around, one big advice, never share it with an idiot. Because the idiots are the perfect people who will give you reasons and also convince you that your idea is not worth wasting time. Give a deaf ear, and that's exactly what I did. Was I not ridiculed by people? Yes, I was. But I had a choice. Did I want to stick on to it? Or did I just want to give a deaf ear, ignore it? So yes, do you want to be the poor me? Why me, sad me, and go to the grave with the same sadness? Or you want to make a choice, the choice of why not me? How can I? And create wow moments. And that is what your passion will help you. The whole of the universe will help you manifest it, as it has helped me manifest. The next is, do you think that the life happens because you are doing something? This is one of the biggest myths I would call the illusion of living. Often we look at people thinking that because I do this, this happens. Because of me, that importance, that big camera towards them, which says that it's all because of them. Okay, tsunami comes because of them. The pandemic came because of them. The countries were trying to control other countries. The people in the family trying to control one another. Now, this is the biggest control freak syndrome, as what I call it. All of us try to control somebody or the other. But the worst thing is, we also try to control ourselves. Just because we want to be accepted by our environment. We don't live by self-approval. We live with a persona, not developing our personality. We live because we want people to accept us. Why not dare to bear and design your destiny? People may not accept you today, but if your thoughts, like I said, if it's genuinely passionate about, if you are looking at creating a rippling effect, then it's OK if there is nobody with you. But once you start, the journey becomes a whole caravan. Yes, think about what is it that you're genuinely passionate about? What is the skill set that you have? And what is it that you need to learn to be able to reach that pinnacle for which you are born for. We are not born to be mediocres. Each human being on this planet Earth comes with so much of wisdom, comes with so much of skill and so much of knowledge that they can create a new world altogether. Why not create it? Why not step into that arena and create it? The next is, this is one of my favorite, which says, life happens in you. Now you may wonder, what is this life happening in you? Your thoughts creates your life. 
Your thoughts create your imagination. Your imagination creates your reality. Change your thoughts. Learn to focus on those things which is beneficial to you. Why do we actually start filling in garbage into our minds, thinking that everything is important? Learning to filter and understand that what you truly need is something we need to carry on, needs to be developed within us, and the ones which are not wanted, energy drainers, let us leave it aside. We need to be energy enhancers. Be surrounded by champions. Be surrounded by people who believe in you, who help you believe in yourself. And that is where life takes a beautiful turn. Now, this is the point of U-turn. You would have had your beliefs. You would have thought, I need to control life. Life always happens to me. But this is the U-turn where we need to understand we have the power, this beautiful power to control our life. Because it all happens within us. It happens all in our thoughts. In this little head, which has stories running all around, life happens for you. This is the next step which allowed me to understand that being with the flow allows you to merge with the ocean. Yes, when you are with the flow, you learn to trust life. You learn to trust the episodes of life, good, bad, ugly, all for your good. Each living behind a beautiful trail which makes you wiser, which makes you stronger, and which allows you to bloom with your true potentials. So this is the point where you start developing your trust. And these are the steps which happened in my life. And I penned it down to understand how did my life turn around? What is in me which made it possible to do those things which I always dreamed of? And then we understand that what we do is happening through us. You become a contributory factor. You become a channel where things start moving, flowing, seamlessly and creating those rippling effects, spreading the nectar of living, the happiness and joy of living. So when you are in this state, we understand that we are mediums. Each one of us are mediums. We carry the divine within us. And that divine is the factor through our vehicle allows it to be flowing into this world, making it a beautiful place. And finally, as most of the Zen masters say, life is in you. We see the universe. We see the universe is out there. But the universe is within us. We are no separate than the universe. And when that is the case, why do we have to live with a mask to please the world? Why not learn to please the universe within us? The most important aspect which I noticed with these six questions was, it is not about the resources we have in our life. It is about the resourcefulness. How do we apply the knowledge we have? We may have immense knowledge. In this era, all of us have lots of knowledge. The youth today, I guess you're all walking encyclopedias. But is it important for us to hold it up there? Or is it important for us to apply what it is there into our lives to create that person that you're truly meant to be? And your company, be surrounded by champions because it's very important. Energy drainers and energy enhancers, there are two types of people in this world. Learn to bifurcate. Energy enhancers are the ones which need to be in your circle. And youth, since you are the hope, since you are on this pinnacle where you could create a beautiful world, become the leaders of this world, be careful about the surroundings you are in, the people you attract into your life. It is not the people who are good or bad, it is the people you attract and what comes out of it. Energy drainers, yes, we all know who are energy drainers. And try to maintain a relationship which does not suck you. Either we have always a choice, we have to whine or shine on what life offers to us. Persona versus personality. We are all here on a stage called life where we want everybody to accept us. We want everybody to talk good about us. If there is a person who says, I did not like this person, the person immediately would step back. But why not accept that constructively? Why not see it as a stepping stone to understand what is in me that did not connect to the person? What is in me which needs to be developed rather than masking that person with a new name? That way, we are not developing ourselves, but we are only pushing ourselves down. As youth of the nation, you are the nation builders. You are the people who will be interacting with number of people 
henceforth even now so what is that particular thing in you which needs to be created like a magnet which attracts people the right people into your lives what you focus on expands focus on the bad the bad expands focus on the positives the positive expands the rule is very simple the universe is very simple it works very systematically it's the human mind which thinks it's very intelligent which doesn't allow it to unfold in the way it should be unfolding so this is basically an abstraction the mind is basically an abstraction we need to be asking what is here that connects to me and what is here that is keeping knocking this little voice in the head is constantly telling us don't do this don't do this but we have to make it just a caution machine which tells us of the dangers but do not allow it to rule you because what you are truly is all in your heart the passion the talents the gifts everything is in your heart we need to unveil the mask and see our true selves are we all ready to let go we have all have behaviors we've all had habits and we have become so used to it that is so difficult to let go of them divorcing these habits are very important in fact i feel divorcing a spouse would be easier than divorcing your habits you get so comfortable with it and when that comfort sets in we do not look at life the possibilities of life so letting go is the rule which i used in my life and understood that being with the flow is what was able to lead me being what i need to do in life about perception we are human beings all with perceptions we all have our own belief systems and we go with it on a regular basis but we do again have a choice the choice to look at the good or the bad in a person to look at the bad and magnify it or to look at the good and magnify it with this choice we can make this world a better place if we look at the good and magnify it the tedx is a beautiful gift which allows us to share ideas the ideas to make this world a better place and also a gift when used responsibly and with accountability we can create a beautiful harmonious joyous and a wonderful world if we do not use our creativity if you do not grow in your creativity creativity will grow out of you understanding that making mistakes is not a stigma it's perfect to make mistakes it only shows that you attempted and this attempts is what i did and these are the mistakes and the understandings which came to my life to make me what i am today learning to understand what is in me that i can give was the biggest question of my life and with that note i would like to give in a message that the youth you are the power you are the ones who can make this world a beautiful place and there is lot of hope the fuel which can make this world a better place than you first stepped in people often ask me what made you go into sound and music and i have already shared that particular experience which made me understand why we can do something about life make it better and yes sound as most of us are not aware i would like to share that sound is one of the ancient ways of living india being the cradle of civilization we have used bells churches have bells and so did the temples and yes i would like to give a short relaxation with to all of you with the sound and i would request all of you to just sit very comfortably take a deep breath in relax your mind and your body inhale and gently exhale allow the vibrations of the sound to move into every cell of your body and choose to let go all those beliefs which no more serves you
let go of any stresses that you hold in your body, in your mind, and allow yourself to go into a zone of deep relaxation. Take a deep breath in, gently breathe out. Bring your, your awareness to the physical environment and slowly open your eyes. Bringing out the richness of the human capacity and changing the human ecology is what life is all about. Thank you so much for hearing me out.